So can I be honest with y'all? Like really brutally honest. I had to really just take a couple days from trying to film, doing anything, social media, YouTube, any of that. Um, I really just needed to take some time and kind of reflect on myself. So if you saw this, the footage before, blah. try to All right, y'all, so can I be honest? I really just had to take a couple days off, almost like a week off, just to kind of focus on myself and kind of go inward a little bit and kind of like really get to the root why I feel like I'm failing, why I feel like I don't deserve to take up space, why do I feel like I'm wasting my time doing this. I just, I had to work it all out, honestly. I feel like I'm not being as consistent as I want to be. And number one is because I was shooting on my phone at first, right? super easy but I kept losing you know storage and everything so I was like all right let me just invest in a camera since I have gotten this camera of course the quality of my videos have gotten better but I've lost like four videos I've shot because when I was filming I don't know what happened but it started to shoot in slow motion I have tons of footage that I can't use. It's like I've gone through the manual. I'm trying to see exactly what I'm pressing by accident to do that. And I, I just don't know exactly what I'm doing. It just put me down a little bit. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. I feel a little sad right now talking about it. So what's another reason? Cause I'm not gonna lie, I wrote it all down. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, is on it. Like I'm just gonna be real with y'all. It's the look in my van. I know I'm building this myself. I know it's a DIY project. I understand that. But what I envisioned versus what I'm able to produce are totally different. It makes sense. Like, I don't have the skills to build everything to perfection myself. And it's kind of putting me down that I can't do it. And I know everything takes time and I'm trying to tell myself that I've just started making stuff, just started building stuff, of course. And I'm trying to remember that this is my journey. Like. It may look ugly now, but in a year I may crack the code and it may look completely different. But right now, why it looks so bad, it's just like, it's so cringeworthy for me. So yeah, I can't finish the wall. I can't put a bed up. I can't do certain stuff until I get other stuff done. They cost too much right now. So it's just, it's, it's a cycle. So yes, I feel like a failure because I, I can't crack this code. Like. I've put myself on a strict budget, so I feel like this goes hand in hand with it. It's frustrating that I have the money. I have the funds to do what I need to do. But because I'm so strict with my budgeting, I cannot touch my money. It's like, I know I have it. I don't want to mess up in the future. On top of that, when I rewatch some of my footage, I feel like I'm not being my most authentic self sometimes. And I feel like that stems from like fear, um, embarrassment, rejection, not feeling like I deserve to put myself out there and have my own platform, not seeing the progress I want as fast as I want. So all of these things are kind of just, it's, it's messing with me y'all, I'm not gonna lie, it's messing with me. Right now, I just feel like such a failure. And I know we all go through these moments in life, like I know I'm not the only one. It's hard to put yourself out there when you're having, I guess, like all these freaking doubts. How do I admit that often I will set up a shot, I will do a whole shot, and then I will look at the camera after I'm done and realize, bro, I did not press record. I did not press record. How do I admit to y'all that I feel like y'all can see my insecurities. Like even, you know, you wake up, you have a bad day, you still have to go to work, right? I wake up, have a bad day, I still have to film, so I'm trying to, right? But on those days where I'm filming and I know I'm insecure, I feel like y'all can see the insecurities. So I feel like I'm so in my head that I'm not present here being my most amazing authentic self. One other thing is I'm scared that if I am just who I really am, my most authentic self, of course I'm going to be judged. Of course. Of course. My most authentic self is amazing. But getting me to that point to open up takes a lot, especially to the world. Opening up, I see how, I see how the world is. Sometimes they like you, sometimes they don't. 
they will start off loving you and then because of something in your past they don't like you you know you don't share the same opinion they don't like you it's hard and a person like me i'm a b100 with y'all in my past in my past okay i was a completely different person i can't not do what i want to do based on my past or who i used to be we all used to be somebody else we all used to do or say things we probably shouldn't have i did it a lot i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie i've said a lot of foul things in my life you know what i mean trying to change that but what i can say is like look i'm just gonna be real if you said something foul to me i said something back period I've never just came to anyone saying any foul things. I'm not a bully. I just want that to be clear. But if you came to me with it, you got it back. So yeah, definitely. But honestly, these are this is me. These are my imperfections. It is what it is. And I'm sick of hiding myself because other people might not like me. Like, who gives a damn? Who cares? Never. It's like, it's never gonna be that way where everyone likes you. And if they do, it's a problem. I'm sorry, it's fake. So I'm putting myself out there for those who connect with me. I'm putting myself out there for myself and for my tribe, you know what I mean? We all have our own little community. So the people who rock with me, y'all rock with me, I rock with y'all. For the people who don't, I don't care. And I have to get to that point in my life where you can't continue to care about what other people think or anything like that. Like sometimes you can't even care about the negative thoughts in your head. You have to realize like, nah, you can't listen to that. <clears throat> I wanna make a declaration to y'all, <laughs> to myself, to myself because I'm just gonna keep it real. I have a huge issue with being consistent because I've never seen it. Never. I have never had someone be consistent with me. Not in any relationship. So it's hard for me to be consistent and I'm realizing that. So learning to love myself, learning to love my flaws, learning to understand my flaws, learning to understand those negative thoughts that are gonna creep up telling me I'm not good enough you're not gonna make it all this and that hell even listening to my family who say I'm not gonna make it this and that like who cares because one thing I realized is that the family and friends who try to deter you they not doing what you want to do they see it in you that you can do it that's why they want to stop you because they know that they may not be able to do it for themselves so learning to love myself is hard because honestly growing up friends and family would not allow me to love myself honestly it was all the jokes all the putting me down so i'm here now trying to love my van and <laughs> trying to love myself so this is this is me i'm trying to show y'all my most authentic self sorry about the voice again because it sounds so gross <laughs> but honestly this is me this is me sometimes i'm hot tempered sometimes i'm cool sometimes i'm an extrovert sometimes i'm an introvert it really just depends i'm not one thing i'm not linear i am so far from that you cannot put me in a box i am everywhere i have to start accepting that about myself and accepting that i don't know what consistency looks like and that is okay I can teach myself now, and but at the end of the day, I really just wanted to come back and open up. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna post. I don't know, but I felt like, because I do have a, a couple people out there who are supporting me and I thank y'all so much. I really, <laughs> thank you so much because you know, your family doesn't only have to be who you're born with. You know what I mean? The family you're born into, I can literally make my own family. And that's what I'm starting now. Me and Journey. <laughs> We are starting our own family. So if you feel like that, if you feel like you're lost, if you feel like you don't have a space, if you want to just watch this journey, come here. You can be a part of my family if you're going on a spirituality journey like I am and you just really don't really fit in with your family and friends a lot anymore. You're just on a different frequency. You're just on a different vibration now. You know, I'm raising my vibration and everything really thank you for listening again but i really just want to come on here and talk to the people who support me i know it's not that many people yet but 
I haven't been consistent. I'm so sorry. I don't know how. I am trying to learn how, and I'm just being honest with you guys. So yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I also came on here to say, I've been trying to hold myself accountable and this is part of it as well. So I'm making a declaration right here as I was trying to do before, before I got sidetracked and just forgot. <laughs> I want to make a declaration right here. I am going to post twice a week, not once, but twice a week, every week. <sighs> Did I say my heart start beating faster when I said that? Like, girl, you really, you really tell it this. You really, we gotta, we gotta own up to it. We gotta do it then. Yes, I'm posting twice a week from now on. And I think I, I don't wanna give out days cause I'm not that organized yet, but I'm going to try to do Mondays and Thursdays, Monday and Thursday, every week. Know right now that I am going to start posting twice a week, every week, moving forward, okay? Exact days, not 100%, but I'm, I'm aiming for Monday and Thursday. Okay, <laughs> I just had to get that out, I had to say it, like, yeah. So yes, 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 I'm excited. I have my good energy back. I tried to do some new stuff in the van and didn't work out. It actually looks really ugly, but I mean, I'm still gonna work at it. I'm gonna work at it. I'm gonna try not to let my surroundings put me down too much. As long as it's clean in here, even if it's not decorated or anything, I'm still gonna try to post and just put that behind me. When I get there where I can do it and upgrade everything, I will. But until then, I don't want to just not travel. I don't want to just not be in my van like that. You know what I mean? It's not perfect, but it's mine. I own it. I love it. I love you, Journey. I'm so sorry. I've been neglecting you. So me and Journey are about to get back to it. We have some journeys to take, obviously. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you have made it this far in the video, because I have been rambling. A lot <laughs> thank you so 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 much oh my gosh so please do me a little favor go ahead and like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications and i will see y'all in the next video Bye -bye.